As technologies work to monitor our health, scientists have long dreamed of developing tiny robots that they could install into our bodies to scan our insides and look for health problems. This new technology might also be used for other medical applications. There is growing hope that nanotechnology applied to medicine will bring significant benefits in the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease. Stay with us to the end to find out the incredible potential of real nanobots entering your body. Small-scale nanoparticles have properties that could be used in new applications, making previously unimaginable procedures possible. With many nanotechnology projects in development phase, there are ongoing and significant advancements in the science. Nanobots can function for years without any damage because they are so small. Perhaps within the next decade, your blood will flow with tiny nanorobots that keep you healthy and free from disease, protecting your biological system and assuring you a long life. The nanobot advantage is that they can deliver drugs to a targeted destination, making them more effective and reducing side effects. For instance, toxic compounds in cancer chemotherapy can damage healthy tissues. Nanobots enclose these drugs and deliver them to their destination without damaging surrounding tissue. Researchers are still investigating whether these nanobots can move in groups, as a single nanobot can't carry enough medicine to its destination. The use of nanobots for drug delivery is still in its early stages as manufacturers face challenges. The most significant challenge is that our immune systems may identify nanobots as threats and remove them before they can get the job done. It is for this reason that scientists are experimenting with materials that won't trigger an immune response. Nanobots have many potential uses. Scientists have successfully developed these robots to move through the blood to deliver blood clotting medicine to tumor sites, cutting off the blood supply and preventing them from growing. Scientists believed that humans could now use these robots to provide medications with more precision as the current results are truly promising. Another application of nanobots in the field of medicine is cancer diagnosis. Cancer biomarkers are proteins, carbohydrates, or nucleic acids present in blood. They indicate that cancer exists in the body. Measurement of these biomarkers enables early cancer detection, the most important strategy in the fight against cancer. Several nanobots have been developed that can accurately measure cancer biomarkers at low concentration levels, allowing them to detect several types of cancers early while overcoming the limitations of currently available methods. A new, exciting development in nanotechnology is the use of nanobots to create a global superbrain where human thoughts are transferred to an artificial interface. The nanobots would transmit stored information from the human brain to a cloud-based computer network that could extract the data and monitor the brain. The concept employs neural nanobots, which connect the human neocortex to the artificial neocortex in the cloud, enabling nanobots to provide direct and real-time monitoring and control of signals to and from brain cells. An assistant professor at the University of Toronto in Canada is creating robots from elastic polymers filled with magnetic particles that can be dragged through fluids and activated to grip objects. These nanobots are controlled by magnetic fields that will collect tissue biopsies in our bodies. Another test of this similar magnetically guided robot was used in a rabbit's eye puncturing a blood vessel with its needle-like tip. Nanobots will be introduced into the body through the vascular system. Programmed by a human surgeon, these surgical nanobots can execute different on-site functions such as correcting an injury or searching for pathology. Researchers aim to create these robots as injectable surgical tools, allowing for procedures with no external cuts and without the problems associated with surgery. The number of people living with diabetes is increasing alarmingly worldwide, and deaths are also rising. Nanobots can monitor blood sugar levels. This is done by nanobots inserted under the skin into the blood. The nanobot sensors are coated with human molecules that change their fluorescent properties in high glucose concentrations, identifying problems without the need for blood draws. Another research has established wearable devices that depend on graphene to collect blood sugar level readings. It's a needle-free glucose monitoring device using nanotechnology. 
This new technology offers people with diabetes a better option for monitoring their disease while reducing diabetes-related health complications. Placed on the wrist or abdomen, the device would instantly communicate readings to the user's smartphone to make him aware of his glucose health. Nanotechnology could also integrate with several aspects of dental care. For analgesic effect, the patient swallows a suspension containing millions of nanobots. These micron-sized robots travel through the dental tubules to reach the pulp, while activating the analgesic activity in specific areas where the dentist performs his task. Application of nanobots in the treatment of dental hypersensitivity is also possible. Hypersensitive teeth have higher numbers of dentinal tubules, and the penetration of nanobots in these tubules would prevent stimuli from penetrating and causing pain. Other valuable applications range from tooth repositioning to dental cosmetic work. These robots may be integrated into mouthwash or toothpaste, improving daily dental hygiene. In neurosurgery, nanobots could play a role in treating cerebral bulges before a rupture, a major cause of death. The robots could screen a newly developed bump or closely monitor a previously identified bulge. Nanobots can communicate information regarding vascular changes to care providers while decreasing screening costs and frequent follow-up visits. It is possible that the field of medicine will soon use nanotechnology universally. What is your opinion of nanobots entering our bloodstreams and gaining control of modified parts of our body? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to have your feedback. See you with more amazing stuff soon.